what a stunning, delicious, lovely, ridiculously beautiful day it is today. 30 degrees all day, bright sunny skies. I was inside editing as per usual. We're heading out to St Kilda. We're in St Kilda now. This is like Beaconsfield Road or something, I think. It, it looks ridiculous. All the palm trees, all the, all the vibes. It's so sick. As most of you know, the F1 is starting up in just a couple of weeks. Oh, should I get in there? Uh, maybe I should get in there. Sweet, I'll get in there. It might even be next week. I don't know. I don't know when I'm dropping this video, but it's happening very, very damn soon. And it's at Albert Park, which is just down the road. Oh, it's just down here, guys. But first, we're going to meet up with a friend of mine who owns a very, very sick car. I'm not going to share with you what it is just yet, but we're going to hopefully get some Insta360 RS footage. I'm literally getting content still for the vid that should already have been launched, <laughs> hopefully. How sick is that thing, man? So it's the Elise, the Lotus Elise. Final edition, the last one of that, of that, uh, that model. How hectic. All right, let's get to this track. I don't really know where I'm going, although it's literally just around the corner. After you, brother. And there's Mao behind him as well. He's got the other one. Identical cars, man. How <laughs> sick do they look, man. So I do have a confession to make. I actually, you know, I love I love cars, bikes, absolutely. I'll race them, I'll do everything with them. I love working on them, love them. But I just don't follow any sports, hey. I don't know, I don't know why. I just, I literally can't follow. The, I don't know, I actually don't know what it is. I've never actually watched an F1. I don't know if I should be sharing this. I've never actually watched an F1 race in my life, like from start to finish. I, I love everything behind it obviously like the the sportsmanship and how ridiculously fast they go and how slow they have to brake and you know the downforce and the physics behind the cars and everything like it blows my mind and i find it so you know ridiculously cool and like satisfying and interesting and i love i love going to sports i love having the day there and i froth on playing sports i'll play everything i love it i'm a sportsman but I was sitting down on the couch and then watching a full-on footy match or watching tennis or watching golf or anything, man. I just want to like stab my eyeballs out. I don't know if I just get too edgy and I want to be part of it. I don't know what it is, but yeah, anyway. That's me. That's that's my vibe. So I actually don't know anything about this track. I've got nothing to tell you. You're going to be here now just being like, what the hell? <laughs> this guy knows jack shit. <laughs> But hopefully you'll just enjoy the little rip around. How's the Lotus this van? It's so sick. <laughs> yeah, the boys. Bloody Lotus fan club, man. The Elise 250 Cup. If you didn't guess. I mean, we got busy just chatting, hey, we just chatted about crap and the sun just goes down so fast. Standard, man, it always happens. But thankfully, oh, I've got a, bit of, a little bit of a rock here. It's stuck to my knee. Luckily, the, the track's just around the corner. It's not far. Formula One Grand Prix, baby, here we go. Mm-hmm. Sick, there it is. <laughs> How good is it? Look at the grandstands, man. Already getting set up. How sick is this? See, I'm, I'm G'd up, although I don't watch. <laughs> I get so G'd up about this. It's exciting, man. It's bloody exciting. I love it that it's literally in my hometown. F1 is in my hometown. Insanely cool. I just took the ND filter off. I'm hoping it's not too bright. I don't think reckon it is. <sighs> we got to hurry up. I'm stressing about this light. Damn it. This is it. This is it. Yeah. We're gonna pull over somewhere. Oh, the road's so smooth, man. Oh, it's so sick. Look at it. Just wave to the crowd, baby. It's so nice. Yeah, wall up the tires. <laughs> it is 40k through, though. Isn't it sick? 
Oh, look at this. This is fantastic. Oh, they're just going to be screaming down here. Woo, all the fencing and everything, boarding everything off. General admission. <laughs> Cheering. Yeah. Everyone's standing at the fence holding on going, this is sick. Look at that. Isn't that the dopest? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so sick. Can you see it? Can you feel it? Oh. Scrape some pegs, man. Good track. Feels great. So nice and smooth. Little chicane here. <laughs> Zush. Yeah, cool. Pitting. All right, let's mount this bloody camera up. Well, yeah, bloody oath, man. How good is it, hey? It's so sick. <laughs> let's mount this camera quick, because we're losing the sun. Cool. Bloody rolling. If you see it looking a bit funny, just pull over. Okay. The security just rocked up. Leave us alone. I hope that goes all right. It's off to the side a little bit, but that's alright. It's pretty exciting, hey, like this is so sick, man. I mean, like, I know there's stacks of people out here, or like that are watching right now, that have tracks near their place, and they probably just go for a little rip around them. But, I've never had one this close to my home. And because I'm in a new city, this is a vibe. This is a damn vibe, look at it, man. I'm assuming that's Pip. It looks like it's pit. This is a straight, right? <laughs> That's the normal straight. <laughs> Poor Ken. It'd be so tempting to hammer it. But yeah, so I love, um, you know, I watch the Bathurst, the Bathurst race day, uh, the V8 supercars. That's where they do like full on thousand kilometers in a day. That's sick. I love it. I'll sit there all day and watch that one race. And then like maybe Clipsal, because the Clipsal 500 is the, the first race of the year. And I've gone to that race, it's in Adelaide, I froth on it, it was a mad time. But other than that, yeah, I just, I don't know. Oh, is it looking pretty sus, is it? There's a little squeeze, eh? How is it? Is it okay? Oh, sweet, okay. There she goes. There she goes. We're all good. What happened? Oh, did that let go? That's a bit weird. <laughs> it's all good. It didn't hit the lens. Uh, is this this thing that let go? Oh, Damn it. At least we got something. That's like, that'll come out really cool. Yeah, damage. I can't see. Sorry, everybody. Nah, man, how good's that? A hit there. Oh, right. Woohoo! Lucky! We're all good! <laughs> Shit! I'm just gonna leave this with you, man. Yeah, okay. Oh, how funny is that? Like the very first time, remember when I was recording the, um, doing the Hero 10 buddy review, and I dropped the 360, the 1X2, and it just missed the lens on that as well. <laughs> how lucky is that? Oh, uh, man, just seeing it just drag on the ground, hey, at least it didn't hit his car and it um, didn't hit the lens. I'm stoked. They just, they cover copped it. Action cameras, man, that's what they're made for. But oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, so if that just ends up there. Mom. Buddy, wave into all your fans. G'day, guys. See you, guys. Mom. Waving, waving. <laughs> Oh, and then just pinning it down here. Bah, bah. Screaming, man. It's gonna be insane. <laughs> I 
don't know if I'm gonna be. Able to, oh, actually, yeah, I'll mount it. I'll mount it to my bike. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Yeah, it's lucky. I'm glad I didn't hit your car and it didn't hit the lens. I was like perfect. No, I just, I didn't. It was just the actual the arm thing. It's like it. I don't know if it was just too much weight. Like I'm spewing because the the ram mount thing just wasn't working for me either. Okay. It wasn't that. No, it was this. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was squeak. Because that squeeze right down there, hey, yeah, like. That's yeah, that's right. Yeah. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, we we'll just keep going up and down here. It's gonna be dark, but it'll be a good low light test. See what happens. Just don't trust this thing, hey. They're good for just you know cameras, not so much selfie sticks and stuff. Because the cool thing with this now, like. The effects that you can do with this is pretty mad. You can just ramp up the speed and it's so buttery smooth. Oh, look at the birds. Ah, oh, stop it. <laughs> and it looks like, it just looks insanely cool. It looks like you're just going warp speed, man. It looks like you're absolutely hammering. Cruising. 360 if you're grabbing that. How good does that look, man? So these boys race their cars at Phillip Island all the time. They take them out there, big Lotus group. They all froth out. The guy at the front, he owns a 356, the, the old Outlaw um, Porsche. I think it's a 55, I think. And he races that as well. He, he just loves it. He loves it. It's so sick that, you know, people actually use their cars for for their enjoyment. It's not just a showpiece. It's like they actually use their stuff, you know. And the turning circuits are so horrible there. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little episode. I thought I'd just show you the the track before you know the big day happens. I think it's pretty interesting. I thought it was pretty interesting. I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't show you the whole thing. Look at the screens up there and everything, ready to go. I'll say peace and see you in the next episode. Enjoy the race, by the way. Enjoy watching it. Just see me in the crowd somewhere. Keep an eye out for me.